Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to explain about high-low method to calculate variable cost and fixed cost. So, now we look at the definition of high-low activity method. The high-low activity method is a cost accounting term that helps to separate the fixed and variable costs. High-low activity method is also used to segregate mixed costs into their variable and fixed components using highest and lowest activities. High-low method use total costs incurred at high and low levels of activity to classify mixed costs into fixed and variable components. Okay, now we look at three steps of using high-low activity method. Number one, calculate variable cost per unit. The formula is change in total cost divided by change in volume of activity or highest cost less lowest cost divided by highest volume less lowest volume. The step number two, calculate the total fixed cost. So what is the formula? Total cost less total variable cost or total cost less variable cost per unit times number of units. And the third step, we have to form the cost function. Total cost equals to total fixed cost plus variable cost per unit times number of units. Or we can use this cost function y equals to a plus bx. Now we look at the cost function y equals to y represent for total cost, a represent for total fixed cost, and bx represent for total variable cost. So we look at the alphabet y, y equals to estimation of total cost, a represent for total fixed cost, b variable cost per unit, and x activity or level of output or cost driver. Okay, now we look at the example for high-low method to leave manufacturing companies' production data for 2020 are as follow. So, this is this column represent for the month of January, February, March, April, May, and June. And this column represent for production unit or activities, the level of activities. And this column represent for total cost. So, based on high-low method, we must identify the lowest activities and highest activities. So we look at the month of January. This is the lowest activities, 16,000 units, and its cost, 14,000. So 14,000 represent the lowest cost. And for the month of May, the highest activity is 18,000. And at the same row, the highest cost is 15,000. After we identify the highest, the lowest activities with its cost and the highest activities with its cost, and then we can apply this amount in using high-low method. So, you are required to calculate variable cost per unit. B. Calculate total fixed cost and C. Form the cost function. Okay, just now, we just identified the highest activity and for the month of May, 
this is the highest activity, 18,000, and this is its cost. So we have to take the same row for the month of May, and this is the lowest activities for January, 16,000, and its cost is 14,000. Now we are applying high low methods unit. The first step we have to calculate variable cost per unit. So P represent for variable cost per unit. So we just use the formula cost at highest activity less cost at lowest activity divided by highest activity less lowest activity. And we substitute the amount for the highest cost is 15,000 and the lowest cost is 14,000. So this is based on the question just now. And this is the highest activity, 18,000 less the lowest activity, 16,000. And you will get 1,000 divided by 2,000 unit. And variable cost per unit equals to 50 cent per unit. And this is the answer for variable cost per unit, RM50. No, RM50, uh, cent, RM0.50 or 50 cent per unit. The step 2 or the second step, we have to calculate the total fixed cost. The formula is, we have to use the cost function y equals to a plus bx, where a represents for fixed cost and b for variable cost per unit. So, now we look at the lowest activity, 16,000 unit. So, we just substitute x equals to 16,000 and y equals to RM14,000 based on the question. So, we are applying the function y equals to a plus px. Why? We just substitute the amount 14,000 a plus b 50 cent times x. x represent or you just substitute the amount 16,000 and when you simplify the equation then you can get a or fixed cost equals to rm6000. So this one we take the point at lowest activity 16,000 unit. Now <clears throat> we look at at highest activity 18,000 unit where x equal to 18,000 unit y equals to rm15,000. So we just use the form of function y equals to a plus px. Just substitute y total cost equals to rm15,000 equals to a plus rm50 cent. This is the variable cost per unit times 18,000. 18,000 represent for x. When you simplify the equation, then you get the final answer a equals to rm6,000. So a represent for fixed cost equals to RM6000. So you can see that fixed cost of, of RM16000 remain constant for every level of output. And the third step, we have to form the cost function. So, this is the cost function y equals to a plus bx. And from the question or from the answer that we have calculated before, a 
equals to RM6000 and B equals to 50 cent. So we have to create cost function Y equals to A plus BX. So Y equals to RM6000 for fixed cost plus RM0.5. X 0.5 X represent for variable cost per unit. That's all. Don't forget to watch my next video. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.